Okay, this is the doubler, double bubbler uh, setup. And what happens when you um, put pr back pressure on one side and not on the other, you're going to get a uh, uneven fill of water in the top. And we're going to demonstrate that simply by taking the hydrogen hose and putting it in, a, in some water. Now, the, the water acts as a back pressure on the uh, hydrogen and it causes the uh, water levels to become uneven. As you can see, the uh, back pressure on that side is forcing the hydrogen side down and the oxygen side is going up. This is an indication that uh, you don't have even pressure. So in order to keep that pressure the same, you would have to take the hose on the oxygen side and also put it in a bubbler and uh, you'll see that they will start to equalize. So that's the reason for having the double bubbler. Uh, actually we're calling this the gas separator because you can see that the uh, bubbles come up here, fall in here, and the foam and the bubbles are here and clear liquid goes back down to the bottom of the cell. The bottom is clear and uh, the, the gases are coming up here and dropping in here and this also helps to uh, uh, break up the foam a little bit too, just the, the agitation of the uh, liquids um, keeps it from rising up higher. So as you can see now that the hydrogen side is actually higher, I think it's because the oxygen side of the hose is deeper in the, in the water and so I'll pull that out and they will balance out again. So that's why it's very important that you get the uh, gas separator if you're going to get the hydrogen separator cell. And that's our video for today.